Hi, we're John and Leah, and today we're going to be talking all about car and road vocabulary mm -hmm. in the UK versus the USA. There are so many differences, and we have, I don't know if you've seen this video yet, don't know the order, but we've just done a video about the different laws of driving in the UK, US. So um, this one's all about the lingo. Yeah. And it's only come about because when we're over there driving, mm -hmm. you hear all these other terminology, you hear all these other things, yeah. you're hiring a car off someone and they're like, da 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 in the trunk, and you're like, yeah, I just gotta like, remind myself what a trunk, trunk is. Um, so we just thought we'd make a really quick fire video going through some of these differences to prepare anyone who's American that might be driving over here in England mm -hmm. and vice versa, you can just be prepared ahead of time. Absolutely. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Yeah, just click so it. We post videos it thrice it weekly. weekly. It's free. And you so. know what? I'm just going to say it. it's a shameless plug, Joel. Mm. If this video is super helpful for you, you can also do a super thanks on this video. That's so true. You can just be like, here's a dollar tip. Super, super thank you. Yeah, it's the little heart underneath the video. YouTube have just released it. We actually have never received one so we want to see what it looks like we're actually gonna ask one of our like loyal subscribers if they could test it but we've forgotten so yeah. we're asking you guys you want to test the super thanks button see if it works yeah. we believe that means that your <laughs> comment in the comment section below will appear highlighted above everyone else's that's what we've been told but we haven't seen it with our own eyes yet. Seen it. Anyway. anyway on to the, the lingo and the terminology yes okay the first one which I always find really funny mm. is the word yield yield yeah yeah Yes. So in the triangle sign, I can see it already. It'd be great if we could get a yield sign right here. Yes. Yield. So this is in England, give way. Give way. Which give I way. think is more, I feel like a foreigner coming to the UK yeah. would see give way and they sort of know immediately what that means. Yeah. Whereas I wouldn't know what yield means. I actually wouldn't. No. But hopefully they do the, the line, the dot, 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 oh, line. Yeah. So it's just the same sort of like paint on the road that you go, mm. okay, I have to give way here. Have to give way. And this is the UK signage for give way. It just says yeah. give way. There you go. <laughs> the next one is to do with a what we call a flyover. Yeah, a flyover. Yeah. I just, I was thinking, have we called it a flyover? We absolutely have. It's just more rare. Yeah. We don't really see them. Normally a flyover will be on another word, motorways. Motorway. But the American, what are the American words it's for those two? Overpass mm. and then motorway is freeway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or high, yeah. Yeah, I think freeway. Highway? Freeway. Freeway. I've got it on my list and yeah. we're going to get to it. So just remember, if you see an overpass, maybe is that highway. is a flyover. What's the difference between a freeway and a highway? I think I actually have it here. So a motorway is a highway. Yeah. And then a freeway. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, what freeway is a freeway? Is... Let us know down in the comments <laughs> the difference between a freeway and a highway. But yeah, overpass is our version. Version, their version of a flyover. Yes. I quite like flyover because it's just like you're flying Fly over. over. Yeah. Um, overpass makes sense. I think I could know what that meant. Yeah, you're like passing over. Yeah. Right, next one is roundabout. Oh my gosh, I love that theirs is a traffic circle. It's just so cute. It's so cute. It it's reminds so me literal. of like playground. Like I just got to the traffic circle. Yeah. And we call it a roundabout. Traffic I mean, circle. maybe ours is just as childish. Yeah. Like a Roundabout. I think Americans, <laughs> I've heard Americans think it just sounds so funny, like roundabout, like roundabout in a roundabout way yeah yeah i just love it but you don't see the road circles very often in the u.s Hardly they're ever. all intersection intersection which is so delaying of your time like in america it's the most annoying thing you just like stop 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 stop, stop. So whereas at least on a on a what, roundabout, a roundabout or a circle, you just like you're, you're just, just constantly moving yeah weaving your way through mm. it makes sense though with the layout of their country it like does. so much of it is like yeah well they love building in a grid system whereas in the uk we don't have grid systems no grids. There's, no there's very few grids. The downside of a roundabout though is yeah. when there's quite a few in a row you can start to feel sick if you're a passenger because you're like constantly. Yeah I've never felt that but um. now I probably will. And the other thing to remember this is more like not to do with vocab but just remember which way to go around the roundabout. Yeah. Because I would approach a round circle what they call it a traffic mm. circle and I would just go the English way. Well that's the hard thing about them way. doing a traffic circle in America is that you've then got to go the opposite way around. I don't think I've ever encountered a traffic circle in America myself. Okay my Brits, dad has. Brits go to a traffic circle for the first <gasps> time. <Bye>. Um, <laughs> So the next one is slightly different. It's sort of like a phrase that you might use that's to do with driving. Just a bit of lingo. Yeah. So put your foot down. Yeah. Basically means... Step on it. Yeah. 
or do they, what's, what's the other one where they're like, foot on the gas? Foot on the, the gas, gas. or like it. when the rubber meets the road. Oh my god, I hate that one. Yeah, or rubber hits the road, road. or whatever. But yeah, step on it. Americans say step on it, we'd say put your foot down. Put your foot down. Yeah. Put your foot down. Literally, put, put your, your foot, foot down. down. So they're, they're quite, yeah. I don't think you'd get super confused. Like if someone was like, step on it, Leah, I'd be like, yeah, put my foot down. Yeah. Be fine. Yeah. So the next one, which we mentioned earlier, is that the trunk in the UK is the boot. Yes. Which I think the trunk probably makes more sense. Like if you think of it, a trunk, like a travel trunk, like a, yeah. it's like a big box, isn't it? Yeah. And that is what a trunk is. What is a boot? Yeah. What is a boot? I suppose it's where you put your boot. boots. Oh yeah. I mean, my welly boots are in the boot, the boot. of my car. Oh, they're in the boot. They're in the boot. The boots are in the boot. Yeah. Why did we not say trunk then? I don't know. Trunk's a bit too like Jack Sparrow, a treasure chest. Yeah. Trunk. Put it in the trunk. trunk. I feel like what we can find in the trunk. Yeah. And I don't feel like many many people pronounce the T on boot. No. So I put it in the boot. Yeah, boot. So we're like kind of Australian. Bonnet. Bonnet. Yeah. <laughs> when we say that, it's quite funny. It is. It's like again, what is a bonnet? Like a bonnet is like what you wear. Yeah, so why bonnet. do we call that a bonnet? So that's a hood. A hood. And interestingly, the, when I think of hood yeah. of the car, you just hear pop the hood. Pop but you would never hood. say pop the bonnet. Never. Pop the bonnet. Pop the bonnet, will do. They we, say like pop up the pop, 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 pop your bonnet. Say. Like pull up. Open, open your, your bonnet. bonnet. Pull your bonnet down. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, so okay. that one's quite funny. I, I mm. would find it funny if I was an American hearing that the hood is a bonnet. Yes. Bit the next one, windscreen versus windshield. Yeah, so they're windshield, ours is a windscreen. I think windscreen makes more sense because let's face it, it's not really shielding you that much. If a big rock came flying at it, is it much of a shield? No. It's only shielding wind. Yeah, wind and maybe flies and mosquitoes but and stuff. But it's not really shielding wind if you then open the windows. No. Because then the wind's yeah. no longer shield, it's now attacking wind the shield. ears. So windscreen. Yeah, <laughs> windscreen. We win that one. Yeah. We win. One point to England. England. <laughs> this one's easy. Uh, pavement over here is yeah. a sidewalk. sidewalk. Yeah, sidewalk. I think it's very literal, isn't it? You walk on the side of the road. Sidewalk. sidewalk. Whereas pavement, again, it's sort of pavement. like a bit of a curveball. Yeah, you're right. As as we say that word like that, it's one point to America, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really? America, you get that one. You get that one okay. on the sidewalk. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is the petrol or some people got diesel or gas. gas. Yeah, I would never, ever, ever say I need to put gas in the car. No, although I started saying it after spending three weeks of April in America. I started <laughs> saying gas. I need but gas. it makes no sense. I know gas is short for gasoline, yeah. but gas is also like a vapor, isn't it? Like you've got a liquid or a gas. Petrol is a liquid, so it just doesn't make sense in my head. It makes no sense. I had no idea what it meant growing up. I was like, why do these people put gas in their cars? Yeah. Like gas. Do they fart into their car? Yeah. Make it go? Imagine a car running on farts. I'd be minted because I'd save so much so money. So much money. Yeah. Just bottle it. Yeah, just bottle it. Just putting the gas in. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> petrol we sometimes say like putting fuel in yeah People are like oh my fuel's low I need to put fuel in next one is what we call indicators indicators yeah and Americans call them blinkers, blinkers. I don't like I'm sorry it makes sense because they blink but I just for some reason I don't like blinker I don't like it either it reminds me of like Thomas the Tank Engine yeah again children's TV yeah it's too babyish yeah blinkers yeah um, we sometimes say like I'll put your signal on yeah, um, mirror signal, signal remover yeah. you know and they yeah, say that in driving lessons. Mirror. Mirror yeah, signal. it just sounds like, yeah, like, oh, put your flashy beep beeps on or whatever. Put your, like, put your blinkers on. Put your blinkers on. Put your little false eyelashes on while you're there. Yeah, I'm like, no, nah, I don't like that, so yeah. I think we win that one. Back your eyelashes. <laughs> and also you're indicating, you're saying, I'm I'm indicating that I'm going this way. Yeah, indicators. Yeah. So we'd say indicators, signal, and those two. Yeah. Yeah. Would you call it anything else? Flashes. No. <laughs> your flashes. Your flashes. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Okay, so the other light, so that yeah. light, the light with the triangle on it. Yeah. They would call that? that a four-way flasher or emergency blinkers or oh. just flashers. Okay, so they call that a flasher. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, that's a hazard light. Yeah, so put your hazards on. Yeah. And if you want to say thank you to someone, Pop stick your hazards hazard on. on. for a couple of bleeps. Bleep, bleep, and bleep, off. Bleep, yeah. Hazard on and off, that's the way you say yeah. thank you. Mm. Interestingly, 
they don't actually teach you in your driving lessons, well I didn't ever learn, that that's a way of saying thank you. Yeah, it's just like the black market of the, yeah. you know. The road. The road, where you just learn from doing it. You, yeah. At one stage we must have asked someone why they, I did. why did they do that? I, I don't remember, remember having though. that conversation, really? yeah. Because I was following at home, we were driving two cars, and he was like, I kept flashing it, and I was like, I don't know this, I don't know that. He's like, I kept telling you, using car signals to come into that, I was like, no, I didn't get that signal. Wow, did not get that. should have just picked up the phone. Yeah, you got Bluetooth. Yeah, you got Bluetooth. We got walkie talkies. Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, next oh, one. The next one is manual. So we call a stick shift manual. Yes. So we, oh, that's a manual car. Mm. Stick shift. Yeah. Do they have any other word for it? Don't think um, so. The only other notes I've put down here is that it is more common to see, you know, to drive stick shift over here. Yeah. And if you hire a car, the standard that you will be given is a stick shift. You've got to pay yeah. more to have a uh, auto. Yeah. So make sure you specify if you are hiring a car in the US, in the UK, if you're from the US, that you want an automatic because they'll just come as a stick shift. Yes. So be prepared for that. Mm. Um, and on a stick shift or a manual car, you get the foot lever, which we call a clutch. Mm. So they call it a foot lever. A foot lever. Yeah. I think both both don't deserve a point. Yeah. A clutch makes me think of a woman's clutch handbag. Does it? And foot lever is just stupid. Yeah, so it's like lever. both are stupid. England and America don't deserve a yeah. point for that. Let's think of a new word for that. Okay. Um, e extra pedal. Extra, extra pedal. pedal. Extra pedal. Um, I would call it engager. Engager. So you're engaging the controller. The controller. The controller. Oh, the controller. Yeah. Because it controls which gear. Yeah. Oh, what do they call the bite? You know where yeah, you the find biting the bite? Point. The biting yeah. point. Yeah. See, I actually have not done the research into the biting point. No. So the way of explaining that is when your foot is on the clutch mm -hmm. and you're trying you to find the moment and you add that acceleration. Yeah. That bit. Do you know what? My, what sorry, this is called? tangent. My driving instructor over explained that so much that I kept stalling. I just couldn't get it. Yeah. One of my friends was like, all you need to do is your feet to do this at the same time. Like literally yeah. foot on the clutch and then accelerate as you're bringing your foot up. And I was like, well, now I get it. And yeah. then like, I you're never like, stored again. If you were to just teach me dance moves, yeah, mate. Yeah, just teach me dance moves. But he was like, find the binding point, give a bit of gas, and then burn the binding point. And I'm like, stop overcomplicating it. That is so funny. You're like, none of the lingo teach me the dance yeah, moves. I just needed a farmer girl that I worked on the farm with that was just like, just do that. And just I was like, that. Got it. Click. Yeah. And that is that driving teacher, they did not find your way of learning. No. It's one conversation with you would have told me you're a dancer. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, a dancer. dancer. Can you not tell? <laughs> so yeah. Okay. So next one, Joel, crosswalk. Oh, crosswalk. We call that a zebra, zebra crossing. crossing. Which is funny because Americans don't even say zebra, they'd say zebra crossing if okay. they were to say it. So do you know what? Ours is stupid. Ours zebra is stupid. crossing, that's so playground. But isn't it cute that it just like it's just like the, the shade of an animal, it's just like a zebra crossing. No, that's crossing. a zebra crossing. Yeah. Like tiger bread in, in the supermarket. Yeah, love that. Everyone calls it tiger bread. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, crosswalk makes more sense, but it's just I like animals, so I quite like zebra crossing. Zebra crossing. Mm -hmm. The other thing to note is that you absolutely have to stop if there's someone trying to cross the road at a zebra crossing here. Yeah. So if you are driving and there's someone trying to cross, you just stop for them. But also that doesn't apply to mainland Europe. For example, if you go to Paris and you do that, you'll get hit by a car because they do not stop, stop. on a zebra they crossing. Do not stop. They do not stop. They just keep going. Yeah. It's really brutal, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So this is a word that we use for the concrete edging on a on side the sidewalk. So the bit that goes up. Yeah. It's a curb. 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 Yeah. Curb. I'm not what sure if they, they have a curb. Maybe they don't have a word for it. I don't think they have it because I couldn't find it online unless oh. it is just curb and I'm being silly. But like, for example, what would they say if they if they hit, like we could be like, oh, I just hit the curb. Uh, like they would just say hit the sidewalk. Hit the sidewalk. Sounds but like a lot but of that sounds like you've mounted the sidewalk, but we're just meaning like if, you're, if your tire hits the curb. Yeah, like if you scratch your... Hubcaps. <laughs> what do they call hubcaps? What's a hubcap? The, like the wheel. So you've got the wheel, if that's the wheel, yeah. you've got the rubber tyre around the outside, yeah. that's the hubcap. The metal bit or plastic oh, bit. Oh, I call that the... um, steelies or alloys. Steelies. Well, steelies. if you've got alloys, I'm not posh enough to have alloys. <laughs> okay, so the steelies, I call it steelies if it's normal hubcap. Okay. Or alloy if, if it's bougie. alloy, bougie. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't be trusted with alloys. I've scratched my hubcap so much from hitting the curb yeah. that I'm like, there's no point in me getting alloys because yeah, it'd be a waste be of money. They'd be yeah. scratched. Well, know yourself. Know yourself. Okay, next one is, oh, I always get these confused. Oh, yeah. So, trucks 
are lorries here. Yeah. Semis yeah. are also lorries. We call everything yeah. a lorry. Everything's a lorry. Lorry, lorry, lorry. But they say truck, truck or driver semi. or semi. Semi is so weird. I know. Especially said that way. Yeah. So se S E M I, I'd say semi. Yeah. And then my first thought is a semi detached house, which is a house oh. stuck onto another house. And then the second thought is um, it's a it's semi erect semi penis. Semi erect penis. Sorry, I that can't. was my first thought. <laughs> It's so it just would not work in the UK calling a truck. Oh, look at that big semi. semi. He's got a semi. He's got a semi. Yeah, oh, that's he's got too a big sexual. semi. That's not, no. Brits can't be trusted with lingo no, like that, I'm afraid. Not. And just to whip through the last few, Joel, because he's yeah. funny. A banger is an yeah. old battered car. But the confusing thing is, a banger is also a sausage. And a banger is also a really good song. Yeah. So you can be playing a banger in your in car. In your banger, banger whilst eating a banger. <laughs> <laughs> bangers, bangers, bangers. Yeah, literally, bangers, bangers all around. Bangers. Okay, so that's really British if you want to know that. Yeah. Don't go to a hard car, car hire place and be like, I'm just looking for a banger. Like, that would no. just not, it wouldn't like. They wouldn't have a banger there. Yeah, anyway. they wouldn't. They wouldn't hire bangers. So, beeping the horn, that's yeah. a hooter. Hooter, like, wah, wah. Hooters? Yeah. yeah. Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. Bib, bib your horn. Beep, beep. I yeah, like bib. saying bib. Bib. Bib your what horn. A bib? I, it might be a Midlands thing. Yeah. Bib your horn. Bib Did your you not horn. bib your horn at him? Beep your horn is the correct way. My horn it. is so pathetic that I wish it was more aggressive. Because right. when I like beep someone, it's like, Meh! and I'm like, oh, I wish it could be like, Meh! <laughs> you should just open your window and shout. Yeah, start screaming at them. Uh, okay, and the last one, I, I actually couldn't Ooh. find the American word for this. Oh. So yeah, we call the black paving on the road, that's tarmac. Yes. So do they not say tarmac then? I don't think so, because why would it have been mentioned online? But tarmac is different from cement, so if any of you are thinking, oh, it's just cement, it's not cement. Not cement. No. It's like the black tarmac, yeah. when you use the same word to describe yeah. what it is. <laughs> It's like tarmac. It's, tarmac. it's just tarmac, guys. Oh gosh, that's so funny. That was a long video, but we hope that you enjoyed it. That was helpful. the dictionary of yeah. car and road terminology. Mm -hmm. We really hope you liked it. Yeah. Stay tuned for more. Go and watch our driving videos. We've got some really funny driving videos in the US. Mm -hmm. If you want extra exclusive members only videos where we go into a lot more depth, we're a lot more free with our tongues, then um, not in that way. Um, then memberships are available. Available. Sorry, right. I think nice nine cents a month. Super cheap. Okay, I'm gonna be sending Joel for a timeout now. Thank guys. you. We've done three <laughs> videos, so I now need a break. A timeout. We'll see you in the next one. See Take you soon. care. Bye. Bye. Bye.